Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another electric bike and this is from Heatway and this is the BK11. Now I already got two Heatway bikes at the back here. Um, the BK6 very popular because it's the cheapest foldable legal e-bike in the UK and I have the BK3S which is the mountain bike or hybrid bike which is really good for going off-road and now I have the BK11 hopefully this will be just as good as the previous bike that I have shown you guys at £749 Amazon UK is selling them at the moment if you are looking for a fat tire um, foldable e-bike I still think this is the cheapest option at the moment in the UK for it to be a legal pedal assisted e-bike which you don't need insurance and you don't need a, a registration you have to limit the motor to 250 volt whereas in America um, they can have like 750 volt which use a more powerful motor and also this one here doesn't come with a throttle because in the UK if you have a throttle that you can go from 0 to 8 miles an hour then it considered to be a moped so you know this doesn't come with it I have been told that you can get them and just plug and play so I so far have not had a um, throttle that I can plug into to play with the battery between those two are the same size and format I did ask the seller on Amazon are they interchangeable they say no but when I tested it it works now that I have three bikes I can swap around if I need to and most likely I will sell one of them I will only keep the foldable bike because I did try to put the um, BK3S in the back of my car although it's doable you do have to take the front wheel off which is a bit of a hassle the foldable one make it really convenient so hopefully this one will be just as good as the BK6 but then I can do a comparison and tell you what is the difference between BK6 and BK11 because looking at the specs they look very very similar but anyway let's get on with the unboxing not that heavy I can lift it up myself I will wait the bike after I built it to see how heavy it is just like I did with the other two bikes but somehow this one seems a bit lighter than or easier to carry than the other ones and uh, yeah let's show you guys what is in the box so you got loads of these block forms to stop the bike from damaging to stop the bike from hitting uh, box give some protection this is the seat and then the whole bike should just come out and three ah! so that's it so that must be the quickest unboxing ever I will film what I'm doing but most likely it will be a time lapse Alright, so I have put this on the weighing scale and it is coming up as 25.4, let's say 25 and a half kilos. This one have a central straight frame, whereas this one have more like a bandy goose neck. So this one is much easier to get onto because you can just put your feet across from the front. This one here is still not too bad, the bar is still lower than your standard bike, but We'll see when I come to test the bike. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. Um, 15 minutes from unboxing to having a functional bike. Um, that's how long it takes. Obviously, I have done it twice already. So, you know, if you take your time and actually read the instruction, it might take you a bit longer. Um, I didn't bother with any of the reflectors. It comes with some orange reflectors and white ones. Batteries, obviously, um, same as the other two design. You lift up the seat and um, unlock it with the key and then you can pull this one out pretty much the same as the BK6 as well slide it in there is a rail so make sure it sits on the rail or else it won't do the final lock in terms of what other things come with the box just in case you haven't seen my previous video so it comes with a hand pump to fill up some air in the tires I'm in the UK so it will give me a 3 pin plug, plenty of wire and it's the standard charger output 42 volt and this one plug into the side of the battery to charge instruction booklet and the bike lock and that's what you get for 740 pounds all right so lovely weather today and this will give you a closer look of the BK11 okay so here's your gear shift you've got seven gears Shimano 
here on this one here very easy to use just press to go down and then push to drop down the front bar here T bar here you have adjustment arm on number two so depends on what your height is controller on this side uh, single press to turn it on the usual function like you know press the minus will assist walk so you can walk with the bike with a little bit of a motor assistant when you press then it will cut the motor function menu there so light on so you got your front LED white light and also the rear brake light seven gears batteries here to slot in you can charge it by plugging it into here now I personally always take it out to charge because I don't like charging it while it's in the bike the only complaint I have is same as the BK6 is this pedal here but here if you absolutely need the space then you should keep this one because you can actually fold this one up it's very hard to do one hand but you can so um, it doesn't stick out so when you fold the bike up it saves even more space now I don't like that I rather have a wider pedal so you can actually have a better grip in, in theory you won't be riding this bike a lot because as soon as the cadence sensors sends about half a turn then the motor will kick in so you're not really pedaling this bike much uh, center frame here this is the hinge mechanism so you've got a double lock here one is this little device and then you pull this open and then now you unhinge i will show you how to do it like later on when i put this camera down um, label wise you got all the in in, the, in label wise you got all the information here a hub motor is at the back here you can see that one and this fat tire have some white whitings on there is it 20 times free it's the size you got disc brake front and back and uh, this is not hydraulic but at the moment it's working I haven't adjusted anything yet your brake pedals travel by pressing the left and right handle you got your rear bracket now this bike here is a bit too low to carry passengers I'm sure it can carry weight because with my body weight of 95 it will still go but this is a bit too low for anyone to sit on if you sit here your knee will be touching the floor so yeah um, we tried that but it did, did, did. we tried it but you know it doesn't work for us the middle frame here i do like this structure here it does make it a lot more rigid all the welding seems to be quite well made there is a serial number of the bike in the front here but this one oh, not focusing well it's not focusing oh yeah now it's focusing uh, it does have serial number of the bike in the front here um, the paint a bit peel off here so i don't know if it's a bit of quality control problem it doesn't have that in my on my other bike oh please don't mind my uh, faithful assistant here going back to the charging station all right so next um, let me show you how to um, fold the bike up and how to unfold it as well there's two um, hinge lock here one is this one here which you have to flip up the little catch and open it flip it open and then it will open the hinge on here you got another flip hinge okay so this one here once you open the hinge you do have to push it out of the way and then it will fold down and then this one fold in the middle and once it's fold up this is how big the bike is and it's 25 kilos now the pedal can be folded up even more like I showed you before I just don't find that save any more space 
because the overall width is about there and the pedal is not going to make any difference so you lift this into your boot of the car we are planning to have two of this bike side by side so me and my son we don't need to put a bike rack on the car but anyway let's um, fold it back up and then you will see how easy or how difficult it is um, do put in the comment section what you like or what you don't like about the bike or what i have shown you so far and obviously if there's anything else you want to know put it in the comment section as well i'll try to answer you the best that i can and then this is ready to go again okay so this will be my very very first ride of this bike always test my bike in the garden just in case i fall flat on my face no one can see it right so this one here on assist level three Brakes works okay. The plastic pedal has to go. And I'm going to straight to level number three because that's how most people will use this bike anyway. Since I'm just freewheeling, I don't really need any power, so I'm just going to switch it to gear 7. Is it legal? I've gone straight to 18 miles an hour. Anyway, let's try that again. 15, 16, 17. This is not legal then. I better get off the road. Let me see if I go to level two. Now, seriously, I haven't done anything to the bike, so you know, I haven't even switched menu or anything like that. So, this is level two. Okay, level two max out at 12. Okay, I haven't switched gear, I'm still on gear 7. This is pretty effortless at the moment. As long as I keep the wheel turning, the bike just goes. This is all slightly uphill at the moment. And um, I didn't really charge the battery before I come out, which I should. But as this is a first uh, use and review video, I thought I'd just take it out for a ride. Like I said so far, it rides really similar to the BK6, but um, 
I can't tell if I like this one more or BK6 so far because I really need to change the pedal. That is too small and uh, this doesn't give me much grip as well. So I might change it before I do my total conclusion. But so far so good. I mean, freewheeling at gear seven, hardly need to any effort at all. So time to have some fun. At times like this, you really miss the not having the throttle because if you're going really slow and going through the roots with a throttle you don't really need to have the you don't really need the initial like uh, turning of the wheel to have the power which will get you out of some sticky situation really quickly anyway The fact that I can actually talk to you guys without being out of breath, riding through the woods with an electric bike is such an amazing feeling. It's almost like cheating. It's like, is this exercise? Do you consider this exercise? Because I can go on for hours. As long as the battery can last, I can just keep riding. Yeah, I do have to slow down some, at some point for this kind of mud. They are just outright dangerous. It will be fun to go through it, but I'm still learning this bike, so definitely not going to do that today. But being able to ride through the woods, literally without effort. Thank you. And this is just pure joy. To be fair, the bike is handling pretty well at the moment. Oh, big power shit. Woo. I need to find my way back. I think it's this way. Yeah, I was on the Facebook group the other day and I found out that if you don't want to push the bike or if you're going uphill, you can actually press the minus button and it goes into the P mode, which is assist, assist uh, push. So now the bike will push itself. It's very handy if you're going up the hill because this is overall 25 kilos and pushing 25 kilos uphill is not fun. So you can do that. But if you worry about it, but if you're worried about it going out of control, as soon as you press the brake, it will turn it off. Once you turn off, you press the minus button again and then it goes into parking mode again. Parking mode? You go into the push mode again. But anyway, it's time to ride back to the house. And uh, it's so much fun that I think I'm going to go around the block.